Hey everybody, welcome to Dave's Back Fishing Channel. Today, I thought I'd go over all the stuff that I've redone to my kayak, my fairly new, uh, it's my ocean pedal craft called the Malibu Pedal. And I'm gonna start up at the front. And this will be for people that, you know, has a boat that's not really designed for fishing, but want to change it over to fishing. So basically what I've done is I've put a couple of uh, Yag attacks on them, uh, channel mounts before I can put my cameras. This is the one I put my camera here. I've added a hummingbird here and I put my transducer inside the cool dry hatch box. So it transfers from inside the boat to the outside of the boat. Naturally to the outside of the boat. <laughs> anyway, I've added these uh, little catch things on the side of the boat to put your stuff in and uh, use that dry box there for my um, camera, I mean for my keys and uh, gun and uh, rag and so forth. And I got two of those on both sides. Um, and I started something different um, for my freshwater stuff. I also did the same thing for my, uh, my saltwater fishing inshore but I, I bought a couple of these bags they're really nice it's hard to do this with one hand but you can you can put your your lures in, in these in these bags and it's soft so it makes less noise in the boat when you're fishing and you can carry quite a few different uh lures and like i said i also finished one for my uh um uh, uh, for my salt water. That'll go it. Okay. My table's a mess over here. But anyway, I did that. I, I made me a push pole and put me a mount here on the side. A measurement for the fish that I don't catch. <laughs> oh, man. And I, doing this, it left me open in the front to do whatever I need to do up there. If I want to put a, a live well, catch bag, a cooler box or whatever I want to do. Because what I did was I came back to the back and this is my other camera mount. I came to the back back here and I said, uh, do I want to keep carrying that card around or would I rather have fishing holes? So, what I did was I went in and I made myself two in the front, three in the back, and then I changed it and made the 90s. Um, I couldn't turn this one, so I had to leave it. Made me some mounts where I can put my rods through here toward the front. So I've got actually five rods and two side mounts here and over there and then that leaves me room in the back for me to put an emergency bag with all my emergency stuff in it my anchor system if i need it my anchor i can get to it and i fixed this cooler box this is just a small cooler box but it will uh, carry quite a few five different size fish and um and I have a bigger one if I need it. I can uh, change it. Um, I have uh, the, um, um, what they call the roll and catch. Whoops, there goes something. This one here. That will go up front if I want to use it. I'll put it right, right there. But it turns around the other way. This is a good, good, uh, good um, ice box for your fish. It's pretty neat, and I can put that right there if I want to. 
or I can use the fish back here. Now, something else that I did that you'll find interesting. These boxes like this, or any of the other live wells, can also be rigged up for, uh, for your bait, for live bait. And I have one I've made for live bait that I use. I use one like this, or I made one like this. I took me a coffee can, a cup, cut it out, sprayed it with styrofoam, found me another bottle that'll go inside, put all these little holes all in it, and where you can slip it down in the top on this, and with this, I can put my shrimp bait in here. I have a pair of like two or three dozen in this, and it does just fine. Uh, and then if I want to, I can take it and hang it, because I have a place here for it, right here. I can hang it over the side when I get it at the uh, place where I'm gonna be fishing. And that way, it can float in, in the water and keep it nice and fresh. So it's a pretty good little deal. I got that, uh, got that from Zoffinger. When I started watching his videos, oh, 2012, I believe it was, when he made his poor man's kayak. And if you had never seen that video, go look at that. And that's really a cool, cool video uh, of Zoffinger making his, his little red or orange whatever you want to call it his kayak called poor man's kayak and he, and he made that thing in his house built it in his house i get a real kick out every time i watch it i went down and saw uh, the finger a while back when uh, salt strong had their uh, meeting down in uh, zusky that's where he's from but anyway i hope you enjoyed this uh hope it's been will do some help to you uh, if you have a problem getting these mounts in here, what you have to do is take a torch and heat them up and keep putting them in and they will shrink up to where they'll fit in the holes and they will come out. So, uh, there's my dog. She follows me everywhere I go. Don't you, girl? Don't you go? Sit. You want to sit? You say, hey, hi. You say hi. <laughs> That's Kaylee. That's Kaylee. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Well, there's my boat. And I am really enjoying that pedal boat. And if you've got a paddle boat, man, sell that thing and get you a pedal boat because it is nice. You can fish areas that you would never be able to get to on a paddle boat because it take you too long to get there. This thing here, it trucks out at around four to five miles an hour on the lake, on the water, fully rigged. So it, it does a good job. And I went and made me a trailer for it. I bought me a, a new fold trailer that you make yourself, it's a kit. Uh, the thing was like 600 bucks is all it was. And, uh, my friend, a fisherman of mine, we put it together here in the garage, and uh, it does a great job, man. It makes it so much easier. I don't have to load this boat anymore. All I got to do is slide it up on the trailer. And it was a jet ski trailer, which all I did was uh, remount these mounts underneath here to where they fit right in the trough right there. Fits right in there on both sides so that's my boat that's my baby so anyway i hope you enjoyed this and if you're not a subscriber i would appreciate you subscribe put a lot of work in all these videos that i do and try to do better in each one and make more interesting content so please subscribe hit the thumbs up button and the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when uh, I, I, I you know, post another video. So until then, until we get on the water again with this cold weather we got, 
And you people up north, I know you laugh at me when I say it's cold. Hey, it's only supposed to get 58 today. That's cold here in Florida, Gulf Coast. Let me tell you. <laughs> so take care. Have a great day and see you on the water and tight lines to you.